Hi and welcome to Opa's Workshop. Today for my first video I got sort of a old standard but I got a call from a woman that I've made about 25 or 30 of these and she would like one more. So stick around and watch me build a birdhouse with a license plate for a roof. Let's have some fun. These license plates are generally about 12 inches long. So I've marked this one off at 6 inches and I'm going to bend it up to somewhere around a 45 degree angle. one of the old uh, metal plates from 90, 1991 when they were still using steel. Next, you want to pick your good side for the front. And level, find out where center is. Since I don't have a portioner bit big enough, I'll have to use the thing here. At this point, you're going to want to glue your sides and your front and back together. At this time, your best bet is to do your sanding while you have it open that you can get to the inside as well. The one benefit I have on these is she fills all the holes from the brad nailer and does all the painting. She has, she's an artist in her own right. After you 
it sanded. I got it tidied up. You put a piece in at the top here. A little more support and it also gives you some place to put the hook that she likes at least on top. I'm sorry I have to stop and plug everything in but I still haven't got my shop wired up. At which time you go ahead and cut it and glue the piece in. And attach it with some glue and a couple of brad nails. real important at this time to sand yourself a little flat spot on the top and the purpose of that is just to be able to make sure the hook gets a good straight bite into it. At this time we got to put the bottom in and uh, let me show you how I do that. The measurement for the bottom is three and seven sixteenths by four inch. And I'll cut that on my chop saw. At this point, I cut out the door for the bottom, something I like to do, and she, uh, from the first, said that she enjoyed having that because in the fall and winter she's able to go out and open the bottom and clean out any little problems that have been left as far as old nests and stuff. So I put mine on a hinge, and I like to put the bottom side of the hinge on first I also chop off a corner to be able to get your finger in to pull it open. I asked a bird naturalist about this one time, having all these openings, and he told me they actually, according to him, prefer it. Once you get it to where it opens, I'm going to take it back over to your chop saw and angle cut this just a little bit. After you've angle cut it, sand your edges.
Now you're going to need something to hold the door shut. What I like to use is a piece of brass. and cut it into an L shape and using the jeweler's pliers I like to roll it in to a little cylinder And drill a small hole on the end and attach it small nail with a head on it. And what this gives you is a little latch. At this point, now you've got a little latch. Open it up. Dump out the old nest. And there you have it. At this point, you're ready to put on the little perch for Mama Bird. And at this point, you're ready to put on your roof.
Now, as I said earlier, I've been making these for this lady for about 20 years. And not one of them has fallen apart. At this point, you want to find the center of the roof. And mark it, which is three inches. You want to put your hook in. So there you have it, one license plate birdhouse with opening door on the bottom to remove nests in the fall, preparing them for the new families to move in in the spring. It's not a giant project, but as I said in my trailer, I got to start slow and go up. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested, please subscribe. Thank you.